Hi, it's me, Christian Barron, the Dram Barron, as you may know. Um, today, we're going to be looking at... Nope, this. It is the Kilkerran Heavily Peated Batch Number 8. So this has come from Campbelltown, as you may be aware, from the Glen Glyle Distillery. Um, let me know if I've pronounced that wrong. It is the sister distillery of Springbank, where it actually gets its malt from. So, a little bit of facts there for you. So we're going to open it up, give it a try, see what it's like. Hopefully, very nice. So oh, lovely yellowy kind of golden colour there to it. Unchilled filtered, natural colour. You can actually see a little bit of sediment in there. <laughs> so you know it's definitely unchilled filtered. Um, it's got great being on it. <laughs> Very oily. Oh, the smell, the nose, absolutely sandy dunes. Takes you straight back to a beach, beach barbecue. Smoked kippers, smoky bacon, vanilla pod in there. Kind of smells like you, you normally get from a, a Kilkerran, heavily peated. Let's go try. Oh, Chihuahua. That is strong, strong beat. 58.4%, so it packs a punch in that peat. Wow, that hits you. It's just a, a wall of smoke, wall of smoke straight away. Um, yeah, let's have a, have a little. Hopefully now, after that's hit, Further ones should should be a bit less uh, smoky. Mm. Yeah. So now we're getting some vanilla essence in there and red berries, stone fruits, green apples, more smoked bacon. Some barbecue bananas. Um, yeah, black black pepper. Some black black cracked black pepper there. The finish is um, like small. Well, I'll call smoldering oak. It's a. Uh, it's like when you're at the end of a beach or any sort of campfire, really. Those last embers are like so smoky, and but like it's got that kind of woody, oaky um, smell to it as well. It's a bit like as well, uh, <clears throat> a flamed grilled burger, let's say, um, that you might get from a famous um, burger restaurant. It has that kind of smoked char to it. Um, and then a lot of salty seawater as well. It's got a dry in kind of sea seawater uh, taste to it in the end. Very, very nice though. Very nice. How it compares to previous versions. Um, I looked up in my notes. The previous ones I've had, I've had batch 7, which is just before this one. And also the batch 3. Batch 3. I had notes of a lot of caramel kind of flavours coming through. Obviously the, the smoky peat as well. Uh, batch 7 was not too dissimilar. It was vanilla notes, um, green apples, things that we've picked up here as well. From what I recall though, they were much more sweeter. This one seems a little bit more on the smoky side. Um, 
but it's not not a bad thing. It is still absolutely exceptional uh, Scotch whiskey. It retails below fifty pound, um, which makes an absolute bargain for a for a peated whiskey. If you can get your hands on the bottle, it's worth getting your hands on the bottle. If, if you're a peat fan, definitely. There are probably better peated whiskies out there, but in terms of value for money, this is probably the best value for money peated whiskey you can you can get or not get, depending on uh, how well you do, because it is quite a scarce, scarce one. Well, no, fantastic dram has changed be between batches, um, which is kind of expected, but not for the worse. Although I do hope the next batch will be a little bit sweeter like the previous ones. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please feel free to subscribe, like, that would help a lot. Um, and visit my website, thedrambaron.com, for a lot more whiskey reviews in there, because I've not done many videos, but I've done a crap load of written reviews. Thank you very much, and have a good day.